today I'm going to be making three cheese and garlic bread in the bread machine. This is a one pound loaf. So we're going to start off with one cup of milk at room temperature. One quarter of a cup of cottage cheese also at room temperature. Make sure you get all of that out of there. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of garlic salt. Two cups of bread flour. I can do this without making a big mess. Just a little poof of flour there. And one and a half teaspoons of yeast. I'm gonna add that on top of the flour. I also have one third of a cup shredded sharp cheddar and two tablespoons of grated Parmesan. You can use Romano, you can use whatever cheeses you like actually. If your machine has a sweet cycle, you're going to wanna to set this on sweet and add the remaining two cheeses when it beeps for the sweet cycle. That's where you would add raisins or whatever on a sweet bread. If you're like me and you don't have time for that or your machine doesn't have a sweet cycle, go ahead and add them in now. Just make sure they're not cold. And then just pop it in your bread machine on a regular dough setting, one pound loaf, and let it go till it's done. Again, if you have a sweet cycle and you're going to be around, hold off on these cheeses until the sweet cycle beeps. So I'm going to leave this on the basic setting and the loaf size, I have one and a half, so I'm going to leave it there and then change it to a light crust. And that's all I'm going to do and I'm going to start it. I'm using a Sunbeam bread maker. This isn't sponsored by them. I just really like this bread machine. And if you're interested, I'll leave the Amazon link in the description box below and it is an affiliate link, just so you know. So I'll be back in two hours and 53 minutes to show you what it looks like when it's done. The bread is in its last kneading stage and I happen to be home. So this is totally optional. I'm gonna take about, I don't know, this much shredded cheese and throw it in. Because I'm thinking you can't have too much cheese, right? You don't have to do this part and I've actually never done it before so hopefully it turns out. The timer just went off and I'm going to take the bread out of the machine. Ooh, it's hot, hot, hot. And this is what it looks like in the pan. Now I'm going to tip it out. Oh, it is tiny. I haven't made a one pound loaf of anything, of anything in a long time. I forgot how little it is. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit and cool before I cut into it. I think if I make it again, I am going to double the recipe and make a two pound loaf because it is pretty tiny. And I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can zoom in a little. Can you see here that there are pieces of cheese? I think those are actually the pieces I put in at the end. That's what I was hoping for. So I'll be back when it's completely cool to cut into it so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so the bread is completely cool now and I'm going to cut a few slices of it just so you can see how nice it looks inside. It is absolutely beautiful and you can see all the little bits of cheese in here. It smells amazing. So let's see what it tastes like. It's really good. It's a little bit salty, but it's really good. So if you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.